Folks, I had an email recently where a manufacturer a website sent me, you know, I was on a mailing list, they sent me a new product alert that they had, and uh, I thought, well, that's not, that's not new. That's not brand new at all. In fact, that looks so much like a big tool rack that I reached out to Tim at Big Tool Rack and said, are you, are you working with Titan? Not that that's a bad thing in, inherently in and of itself, but um, I just, it kind of caught me off guard because it didn't say Big Tool Rack in the mailing list that I had, but it, uh, <laughs> it was like, it was like the exact same thing, a little bit different color scheme, you know, a little bit, everything was tweaked, just, just a little bit on it. And lo and behold, they're not working with, with Titan. So Big Tool Rack is not actually working with Titan. Titan just went out on their own and basically copied this exact stinking thing here and made their own version of it. And I thought that that was just mind boggling that they would actually do that, you know? And I, I, I'm okay with competition. I'm okay with manufacturers doing their own thing, but typically if you're gonna do that, you're gonna make it your own. You know, you're gonna put your own spin on it and not just blatantly like copy everything. These all swing down the same way. You know, it's the same rails on the outside, the same storage locations that are on here, the same swing gate and cartwheels and everything else that are going on. But on the flip side of that, <laughs> I'm not all that surprised either because, you know, Titan is, well, let me put this out there. They are, they're my competition. We're both in the online agricultural attachment sales um, world, but we are on different ends of that. They're very low cost. They're kind of like, uh, and again, I'm not saying this in, in a bad way. They're kind of like the Walmart of the tractor attachment world because it's, it's like a thrift store. You go there for the cheapest, lowest price you can get on anything and we've talked about this a lot if you're getting a low price on something you're sacrificing other things and so with me i'm i want to be competitive on on pricing but i want it to be a high quality product with good features um, and just well-rounded completely you know so there's a ton of room in the industry and so that's okay uh, i don't have an issue with that at all but i do actually have an issue with them and I'm calling out Titan on this because I think that's that's trash that they would do that that they would take this exact item and they would make their own version of it and just try to undercut everything without even an attempt a real attempt to differentiate and add different features or make it their own and so I feel this pain for Tim and for Big Tool Rack because he built his own business from the ground up and if you followed him for any length of time he has taken it like literally worldwide he's he's been able to connect and grow and just build out his business in so many different ways that's like inspirational for me as a fellow business owner and, and just seeing where he was able to take that. And so I, I don't know if he's got this design patented or not, you know, and, and a patent they say is, is, is only as good as the money you're willing to spend to protect it. But it's just, it just rubs me the wrong way. And for me, it helped me to make a, a business decision of my own, which is to drop Titan from all of my relationships. And so right now I've, and for years I've recommended their ballast box and I'm going to have those links taken down and Chris is actually hearing this for the first time now that he's going to have to go through and scrub all those links because I'm not going to do business with a company like that, um, even if they have a decent solution. But uh, you can still go buy it, but I don't even I don't feel good taking that kind of small commission from that. Oh, actually, yeah, I was looking down here, but uh, there is a patent number right here. So I don't know what that patent covers, but um, hopefully that provides them some protection for this as well. You know, and on that note, kind of behind the scenes, Titan recently switched their affiliate program, which is how I would get my, my commission. Um, I think it's three or 4% that I make off of a sale. So if you spent a hundred dollars, I would make four bucks on that. So it's, it's not like it's a, <laughs> it's not like it's a huge profit center, but um, they went from commission junction to, I think it was impact for their affiliate programs. And when they did so, they required me and every other person that has affiliate links to get new links from this new company and put those everywhere. You know, and for me, that is, that's probably literally thousands of locations where it's completely different links. The old ones no longer will generate an affiliate payout for me if you go through those links and, and, and buy something. It's only the new ones. And so for me, making just, you know, three or 4% on a sale is nothing. Well, I went through and I got my year end totals from last year, all of 2021. I did, uh, it was almost 150,000 in sales and I made like five and a half thousand dollars on that for the whole year, right? So, you know, f I don't know, 500 bucks a month, something like that, give or take, can pay a car payment or something else. So it's, it's, it's relevant in the grand scheme of things. But for me, making as little as I was doing overall to have to go through and spend hours probably changing out all of those links to a new one when I don't know why 
the affiliate program couldn't do that on their own with redirects of some kind, but it's just, I feel like it's a slap in the face, right? I, I already don't make a lot and you want me to go through all this effort just to make a few bucks per sale in the future. And so, you know, you kind of come to a decision and, and when, when one thing happens on a standalone kind of basis, you don't think a whole lot about it. When, when issues start to compile and, and they're completely different, right? Like this, this just bothers me, you know, with them just taking that product and trying to make their own version of it. That's, they didn't put any effort into it. It's just like reverse engineering, which is a, a cheap, hacky way to do things. Years ago when I was starting out, I used to actually buy a lot of their uh, pallet forks when they'd have a really good sale. Um, and there were a, a few times when they were able to give me a bulk discount buying things on ballast boxes and, and other attachments. And I had too many issues with damage when they showed up, with um, alignment for fittings on the loaders and on the three points, with paint quality. And I, I decided I didn't want that uh, with my business. And so I just kind of switched to certain select products that I still felt like were a better value you couldn't get anywhere else. And, and I guess at this point, I'm scrubbing it all. It's just not worth it. And if you want to get their stuff, um, you're more than welcome to, but I'm not going to recommend it anymore. You know what? On that note, we tried once to come up with a, a feature-rich, high-quality, but affordable ballast box solution, and we, we struck out on that, right? But I want to try again. So if you are a fabricator out there or you know of another high-quality solution that's a good alternative, we'd love to know about it. Reach out, send me an email. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. And so Big Tool Rack is not the first. They won't be the last that has to deal with an issue like this, of course. Um, I know that Edge Tamers R2 Manufacturing deals with this a lot. Um, I do believe that their product is patent patented or patent pending at least and they've got knockoffs all the time that are showing up around that they're they're trying to keep at bay and it's just kind of it's unfortunate you know and it's just part of reality I mean there's just people out there that are kind of trashy and uh, you, you gotta you gotta expect it just get over it don't let it ruin your day but I kind of want to make this video and I'm, and I'm glad I found out about it a few days ago um, and I'm glad I, I waited so because I was I was pretty heated about it I, I just think it's a pretty low class move, but wanted to make a video kind of supporting Big Tool Rack just as a fellow business owner, um, you know, kind of doing their thing and, and give them support. And they're actually a discount club member as well. Uh, use code GWT, you can save, I think 5% on their website off of anything on their website. Uh, a little bit about the Big Tool Rack. It's, it's kind of like an, well, they call it the ultimate tool rack because it's got everything on it, right? So it's got this tailgate here. You can drop it down, load it full of firewood, your other supplies you want to take in the field. Mounts right on your three point hitch or put in your garage floor and roll it around that way too. You can see it's got a receiver on here. I, I'm sure I'm gonna miss things, but um, it's got all sorts of things. Obviously the tool storage and holders. You can see the uh, the chainsaw rack right here or chainsaw holder, more stuff on the side. Drop down series, you can put like lumber on it if you wanna tag that along or hoses or anything else. You know, more straps here, um, a weight rack so you can put suitcase weights on the backside too. It's quick hitch compatible. It's just got a lot going on and this is really a nice thing like for my barn, just rolling it around. Even if I wanna go from one end of the barn to the other end, just rolling it and so I have everything right there with me or taking it out if I'm working on uh, the fence or you know, up by some other area of the property, there's just not a lot of storage on tractors, right? So it's a really nice handy thing to have around. It's not cheap. Okay. They make a, a, a smaller, simpler, cheaper version of this as well that's going to lack some of these features. But um, a pretty cool concept, a really cool design. I know it's been a good seller for them too. You can get it in different colors, bigtoolrack.com. Anyway, folks, that's going to wrap it up for us today. So do a little bit of venting, but uh, it is what it is. It's reality. So I get asked about this kind of stuff a lot. So I'm sure it would come up at some point anyways on why would you get the Titan one versus the big tool rack or vice versa. This is my take on that. And who knows, maybe you think I'm overreacting. I guess I'd like to know either way if you think this is a big deal, not just for this scenario, but just in general and, and how you would handle it, what you would do. Um, it's good for other business owners. It's it's just something that's perpetual, right? It's, it's just always happening. You're always gonna hear stories about it. It sucks, but it's just reality. So let us know and you can do that by leaving a comment down below. Now, if you are in the market for a tractor attachment, something for your front end loader or your three point hitch, we'd love to help you out. Check out goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country. And if you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. It's completely free. Just hit that subscribe button right down below or head on over to Facebook and follow us there. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.